guys. I've decided to do a video on all my piercings and tattoos because I've just had my 10th piercing done. And so I thought I had enough to make a full video about it. I'm going to be explaining a little bit about each one, my experiences, pain levels obviously is what a lot of you are asking and what you're interested in. I was thinking that I would start with my tattoos. I only have three at the moment so we'll just breeze through them. My very first one that I got is this one here. Just a little crescent moon. I got it done for my 18th. It's supposed to represent a new phase of my life. Pain rating, it really wasn't that bad. I would give it a 5 out of 10. It just feels like a piece of being dragged across the skin. I know that does sound pretty awful, but it really isn't that bad. I was expecting a lot worse when I went to get this one done. My second and third tattoo I got done at the same time. I got these ones back in July for my sister's 10th birthday because one of my tattoos is related to her. But the first one I got was this sun here on my wrist. And this one is supposed to match my mood. The sun and moon together um, kind of relate to this song that I was really into um, at the time. Uh, I won't go too much into that. It's very vaguely related to that song, but mostly it's for aesthetic reasons. The other one is on my thigh. It's just a Gallifreyan tattoo. Gallifreyan is like a language from Doctor Who. It's the language of the Time Lords, and basically it's a language written on circles. So the different patterns on the circle correlate to different letters of the alphabet. For example, mine says Ruby. Have you got to read it clockwise? So each of these different things correlate to a different letter, like R, U, B, and Y. Okay, that's all for my tattoo. So we'll move on to piercings. I have 10 altogether, and this is me counting each individual hole in my body. I'll explain why later on. So my first and second piercings are just my first lobe. So one on this side and one on that side. My third piercing would be my belly button, which I had done when I was 16. And that was because my parents wouldn't let me get mine done. So I had to wait until I was 16 to legally be able to go get it done alone So I got that one done at the start of year 12 and it didn't fully heal until the end of year 12 I think that's because I wasn't very diligent with looking after it and I got it bumped around a lot And also when it did heal I was at the beach that week and I was constantly in like salt water And so I think that really helped and my belly button a 5.5 slash six out of ten. My fourth and fifth would have been my seconds. So it's just my second earlobes. I got it done on both sides. I would say that my ear piercings for the lobes, the pain was like a four out of ten. I got my sixth, seventh and eighth piercing done at the same time, which was not a good idea upon reflection. My friend was paying for it because it was my birthday. So I thought, fuck it. That would have been just my industrial here. So six, seven. And I also got my tragus done, which is this little tab in your ear right there. My tragus isn't in there anymore because about four months after I got the piercing, I went to bed and the bar fell out in my sleep. And when I tried to put it back in in the morning, the hole had already closed. I don't think I'm gonna get it redone because getting piercings re-pierced in that same spot hurts like a bitch. And I don't think I'll miss it that much, to be honest, because the only thing that I would say about a tragus is that because it's right there, when you first get it done, it hurts to put your ear phone, your earbuds in. I don't really want to have to go through that again. The industrial, which I count as my seventh and eighth piercing, because if I wanted to, I could take the bar out and put two separate pieces of jewelry in, and it would be two piercings. So that's why I count all the individual holes in my body and not just what the piercing is called. This one is the most painful thing I have done to my body, having done all three piercings on the same ear at the same time. I think that's why it hurts so much, because my tragus, that was the one I got done first, wasn't that painful. I would say five out of 10. As I was getting the piercings for the industrial, oh, it, it reached, it got quite painful. I would say maybe a seven out of 10, maybe a 7.5 also. She had to kind of stretch my ear apart to put the bar in after it was just like pierced, hurt, 
like a bitch. <laughs> so this one took a long time to heal as well, about three and a half months. Yeah, the healing process was pretty tedious, like it would bleed sometimes and like it gets flaky like it does. I mean, you'll probably experience that with most of your piercings. My ninth piercing, I won't be showing you. It's my left nipple that I got done. And I had that one done about two and a half months ago now. And this is probably the piercing that has healed the best out of all of my piercings. You're probably wondering, holy shit, it must have hurt like a bitch. <laughs> It wasn't that bad. I, it's on par with my belly button, so a 5.5 to a 6. I think it's just the idea of getting like your nipple in a clamp and then having someone shove a needle in it. That, you know, that seems pretty crazy. It bled a tiny bit two days after I got it and it was gone within a day and I really had no trouble whatsoever with this piercing. And my final piercing, my 10th is my septum. I don't really want to keep this jewelry in it. I'm eagerly anticipating the day that it'll be eight weeks, which is when I can change it to a tiny little ring. Like Stephanie Villa from Soothing Sister, who is my ultimate angel. One of the least painful piercings that I've ever gotten. My friend before scared the shit out of me and told me that they pierced it through the cartilage in the middle of your nose. They don't do that. I've talked to several places. It's through the soft spot between your cartilage and um, like the tip of your nose. So if you feel around in there, you'll feel there's like a soft spot that's really thin. What they get you to do is just uh, pull your lip down like this and then they put a little clamp in it and then put the needle through. Obviously her, when she put it through, wasn't that bad though. And after she put the jewelry in, I couldn't feel it. Like there was no residual pain. Unlike my industrial piercing, which gave me a legitimate pounding headache for about two hours after I got it done. It's only been two days and I can already touch it and flip it around. If I wanted to, I can push it in. If you wanted to hide your piercing, that's a really brilliant way. You can push it right into the nose like this. They don't recommend you do this for extended periods of time or else it won't heal properly though. So it's best while it's healing to have it out properly like this. And so that's all of my piercings. I'll go into answering some of your questions now. I asked you on Instagram if you had any questions at all about any of my tattoos or piercings. And these are some of the questions that you guys asked. Did getting your septum done hurt? Not really. I mean, it was definitely one of the least painful piercings I have. I gave that like a 4 out of 10, if that much. It was pretty damn breezy. The only thing is your eyes water, but you can't help it, that's like a reflex. Angela Dup or Dupe asked which piercing hurt the most. That one is easy because this piercing hurt more than my bloody tattoos. <laughs> and um, that is my industrial. Molly Pike asks which hurt more, piercings or tattoos? I think with tattoos, the longer or the bigger the piece, the more pain you're going to be in because it's kind of like a build up of pain rather than just a jab like piercings are. So piercings do have a more intense pain. But tattoos, depending on the size, the pain increases as you go. Your body is fatigued, you lose your adrenaline from when you first start getting it done and it starts to really, really wear down on you. And this piece that I have on my thigh, it wasn't that bad, maybe a 6 out of 10. If you wanted something bigger than that, um, and especially on sensitive parts of your body like your ribs or your palms um, Which my tattoo artist told me were the most painful places to get tattoos I would assume that those places would probably hurt more. Kumas says Do you like your body? What do you think about being skinny or curvy and does it actually matter to be skinny? And not really related to my tattoos or piercings, but I'm happy to answer it I think that every body shape should be celebrated as long as you're healthy if you're too skinny like and it's unnatural then I don't think we should support that and if you're too fat morbidly obese and unhealthy then again I don't think we should be saying hey be happy with your body like we're effectively encouraging that person to die sooner as long as you're healthy and you're happy there should be no reason why your body is better or worse than someone else who is also happy and healthy I believe in body equality Caitlin P asks, what is your favorite piercing and tattoo? In terms of my overall experience, at this exact point in time, my favorite piercing is probably my nipple piercing. And that's because it's never flared up, wasn't that painful, and I don't know, I just feel kind of like cheeky with it. And gives me a sense of maturity and femininity and 
I'm not sure. It just makes me feel happy. My favorite tattoo is, this is my biggest one. It's my thigh tat. That one I love more and more every day. C Dukes asked, what piercing do you plan on getting next? Soon, I don't think I would get another piercing. Maybe next year. I might get something on this ear, but who knows? Or um, two front helixes. And Bianca Buck asks, are you going to get more tats slash piercings in the future? With tattoos, I definitely will be getting more in my lifetime. That's all I know. I don't have any ideas for upcoming ones just yet, except I do want a colored one without any black lines, if that makes sense. Musine says, did you start getting piercings before or after you turned 18? My first piercing was when I was, you know, 12, four years later when I was 16 and got my belly done. And then I got my seconds done at the start of last year. So that one was, I was still 17 then. So I did get quite a few before I turned 18. I didn't tell my parents about my belly button for a year. I managed to hide it for a year, but it really wasn't worth the effort. They didn't even freak out as much as I thought they would. Look, Q says, how to deal with negative responses about your piercing from family, relatives, friends, etc. Alright, so with my friends, always been very supportive of what I do and that, that's how I expect them to be. If your friends are bitching you out for getting piercings, then what the fuck? From my relatives and family, parents don't like my tattoos or piercings, but they've never had a really, really strong aversion to any of them except my septum. But it's really your body and you do make decisions for yourself. And yeah, of course, taking into account what other people are saying and what other people think, it's impossible really not to take that into account. So if you have a steady compromise between your own wants and needs and others wants and needs, then I think it should be fine. And that's that should conclude my video. Definitely comment down below what you want to see in my next video. Have a good one guys and I'll see you next time.